are you using a netbook or a laptop for your Linux distribution and you want to get more battery life? Well, I have some solutions for you and we're going to discuss them right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. first tip that I'd like to share with you guys on getting the most power out of your uh, laptop or uh, netbook is always making sure that your fans are clean. Uh, that is a big uh, thing when it comes to uh, conserving power because um, so having a can of uh, compressed air can be really handy for that because of the fact that you know when dust and everything collects in there you know those fans have to work a little bit harder and so you'll notice a big improvement I use compressed air on my computer at least once a week clean all the dust out and everything and that helps out some other tips are to use a lower light setting if you can uh, do that um, and there are some other utilities that you can use the most popular one is Jupiter and that's the focus of today's show here and to get Jupiter it's very easy let me uh, pull up my notes here. I already went ahead and I installed this, but here are the commands that you can issue to the terminal. Let me center this up here and I'll zoom in. And these are also in the show notes as well. Uh, just uh, typing in these commands, sudo add apt repository ppa web update team slash jupyter. And then you would run sudo apt get update, then sudo apt get install jupyter. Now, there is another command here, but this is only for those of you who are using the EEE netbooks. Uh, there is also a utility called uh, the uh, EEE support, and that's sudo apt-get install jupyter support slash EEE. And that'll uh, get you what you need. I'm not using EEE, so I really can't test that out. Okay, and then once it has installed, you will have uh, Jupyter in your menu somewhere and it's in my system or just gives me the option to run the command and once that runs it puts a lightning bolt in your notification tray let's go ahead and close this here all right and then when you right click on it you have some performance options uh, so if you have it plugged in and you want the maximum performance out of your system you can immediately select this option power on demand will only use most of your cpu resources as you invoke a program that may require it and then power saving mode become, is available for you for those of you who are running on a battery and you want to get extended life out of it. Okay, and you can also configure some other things such as disabling the Wi-Fi or disabling the touchpad. Now these options are not available to me, the screen resolution, screen orientation, primary display or video displays because I have my display actually shut off. Um, I'm, I actually power my show off a laptop for those of you who do not know and I have this connected to a high definition television and so with an HDMI cable running out into the TV so I, I kind of figured that these options would become available but I've read up online that a lot of people are very satisfied with the Jupyter application but also having the compressed air is also a plus that can help you out there and turning off you know additional uh, you know hardware where you don't need it will extend your battery life for you as well and if you guys know of any tips put them in the space below to share with the community other things that people can do to extend their battery life mm -hmm.